Maybe this is just me, but I never succeed at using the monthly sections of any planner I use ever. They always remain super blank and always just sort of haunt me <laughs> with how little I'm able to successfully use and plan in them. So I am trying something different. I am actually taking my Hobonichi cousin and I'm turning the monthly pages into a sort of like media spread that captures all of the media that I've watched throughout the month or read throughout the month or listened to throughout the month, including like YouTube, books, TV, movies, especially movies. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take you through how to do that. If you wanna share your spreads, be sure to tag me on Instagram. I actually have an Instagram account now, so everyone who has been asking can find me at Rachel in Theory, all one word. My name is spelled like Rochelle, so R-A-C-H-E-L-L-E-I-N-T-H E-O-R-Y. <laughs> Briefly forgot how to spell my channel name. Um, but yeah, you can find me there on Instagram. I'll be sharing some spreads. I'll be sharing some tarot spreads, some planner spreads, planner tips or, or tarot tips or just random life productivity stuff that I find interesting. So please give me a follow there. But if you would like to see how I create my monthly media spreads, you can keep on watching. So today we're going to be doing a monthly media spread, which essentially is what I use my monthly pages in the Hobonichi Cousin for because I've never been able to successfully like monthly plan in the Hobonichi Cousin. I'm just not a monthly planner in that way, but I do like it as a sort of memory keeping tool. So let's open up to the monthly sections and see what this looks like. This is my monthly one for February, which this is an April start Hobonichi Cousin. So I backfilled this and today we're going to be doing March, which I actually did not finish reading that book in March. So I'm going to go ahead and move that to April. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be doing March today and essentially making it look a lot like this. Um, you can see I have games that I played, movies that I watched, um, other games that I watched people play. <laughs> Um, and I also have important dates sort of written out. So my sister's birthday, Groundhog Day, in bulk, stuff like that. Um, and then I went through and added quotations. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for March with you guys now. So how I keep track of this is that throughout the month, I will take these little sticky notes that I have. I think I just got these from Jet Pens. They're just tiny circular sticky notes that fit perfectly inside one of the squares for um, a monthly setup. And I just will write out either the movie that I watched, the um, YouTube channels that I watched, um, the games that I played, um, plays that I saw, TV shows, pretty much anything goes in here. And I just put them on the day that I watched them. But as you can see with my um, February spread, it doesn't always have to be on the actual day that I played, watched or whatever these things. Um, so for example, if I finish a book, I'll usually put it on the date that I finish it. But sometimes I will add, you know, when I started a book. So for example, um, I started Adult Children of Emotionally Immature Parents here, and I, I finished it sometime later in the month, but I'm just gonna put it where I started it. Um, you, and usually that's because I want to um, make the spread look good for space. Um, so you can see that like some of the movie posters will cover, like this covers the first, um, but also the eighth. And that's just cause it looks good <laughs> pretty much. So I'm not too concerned with making this like super accurate. It's just giving me a snapshot of the media that I consumed during the month. So I have printed out all of the things that I've written on little sticky notes, plus some extras. So I know I wrote Carter Sullivan here. I just got really into her vlogs. Um, I also got really into Caitlin Nolan, so I printed out one of her vlogs too. Even though I didn't write it on a sticky note, I'll just figure out somewhere to put it. And then I, you can see Power of Sale, which was a play that I saw this month. I printed out two different covers of it because I think both of them are so cool and I can't figure out which one I want to use. Um, but I'll just decide in the moment. So I printed all these out and I'm going to be pasting them on using this Tombow adhesive permanent tape, um, which honestly is not really my favorite thing to use to paste things in. I I guess it is my favorite right now, but I find the machinery, I guess you'd call it, to be kind of buggy. Um, so if anyone has any suggestions for like glue that's good to use in the Hobonichi um, Cousin or anything like that, please, please, please leave your recs down below because 
I am not 100% satisfied with this and I would like to try using glue, which I think would actually stick to the pages more. But anyways, leave your recommendations down below. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and clip off this page and get started. Okay, now that I have everything cut out, it is time to put them all on, like to arrange them all in the journal. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put my um, pencil board back here so that this has a firm surface because it is so close to the front of the planner. It doesn't really have this like firm surface. Anyway, so I'm going to arrange these. Um, but first I wanna let you guys know like, you're gonna have a lot of paper scraps if you do this, but um, personally, I save these. I do like a lot of like, um, essentially like affirmation writing or um, uh, manifesting on these little scraps of paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them inside this journal, which I believe my tour of all my journals will be up on my um, channel by the time this goes live. If it is, I'll link it in the cards. Um, but if it's not, it'll be up shortly after this video. So go check it out on my page. Um, essentially, this is like my working spiritual journal. So I just have this pocket in the front where I keep pretty much all of my spare scraps of paper that I get through cutting out things that I print out or um, other, like if I'm ordering from a shop and they give me like spare little pieces of paper or something, I'll, I'll end up putting it in this journal because I use little scraps of paper in this journal all the time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. This is like probably too small of a size to keep, but um, the larger chunks or the longer chunks, I think I could probably get some use out of. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and stick these in this little pocket. Great. Okay, so I'm going to lay these all out in an arrangement that I like, and then I will check back in with you. Okay, I think I like this layout. I think I'm gonna have to continue trimming down some of them because I printed them just a little bit too big or too wide for the boxes. So I'm gonna do that and then paste them all down in this configuration and I will again check back in with you in a second.
Now that I'm at the end of doing the spread, I will just give you guys a tip on using the um, Tombow Mono Adhesive Tape. One of the reasons I don't like, I think I said earlier that I don't like the uh, machinery of it is because I think sometimes you have to be super particular with the way you press down the tape in order to get it to come up properly. So I'll try to show you what that means, but essentially like if I just pull up on the tape as normal, well, of course it's not gonna do it for me then, but sometimes when you pull up on the tape as normal, it will like bunch up almost. Um, so what I have found that you kind of have to do to get it to stick properly is like pull to the side and then it gives you like a really clean cut on the tape so that there's no bunches. I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, but again, <laughs> leave me your recommendations in the comments because I am kind of tired of dealing with it. And it just feels wasteful, you know? It's like so much tape for so long to work. I'm just gonna kind of go over the O here a little bit. And it's gonna be fine. See, okay, that is exactly, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but you can see how it bunched on the roll because I just lifted straight up. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So then you have to like kind of roll it with your finger to get it in position correctly again. It's so annoying. All right, done. <laughs> I think I like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling quotes. And the way I do that is just on the internet. Like I'll just Google quotes from whatever, quotes from whatever, and I will write it in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now.
Okay guys, that is it. By now you've seen the finished spread and you should know how long it took me to actually cut out all those little squares. It took me so long, but this is a super fun and creative process. So like I said in the beginning, if you recreate, please tag me on Instagram, I'd love to see them. And if you'd like to stick around my channel, you can watch another video right here or subscribe, like, stick around. Thanks so much for watching.